Today, I'm gonna to see how much cash we can earn running the world's smallest crypto miner. I know it's crazy, but have some faith. I mean, when have I ever been wrong? Plus, it's cute. And so to make this happen, we're gonna rely on the Raspberry Pi Zero, which is the single board computer that theoretically costs only $15. But in practice, will probably cost you your firstborn child. We're also gonna use this AntMiner USB stick, which is basically a piece of hardware that loops through the SHA-256 hashing algorithm until it catches fire and gets you arrested for arson. Hence the massive heatsink on this thing. The first thing we're gonna do is set up our SD card. So to flash the operating system to our micro SD card, we're gonna to go to raspberrypi.com and we're gonna download Raspberry Pi Imager for Mac OS. Then we're gonna open Raspberry Pi Imager and we're gonna go over to choose operating system. For this example, we're gonna to go to other operating systems and we're gonna download the 32-bit light version of the operating system. The reason we want the light version is to conserve resources for crypto mining. Next, we're gonna go over to choose storage and we're gonna make sure that we have our 32 gigabyte micro SD card selected. Be careful here because remember if you select the wrong card you're going to be erasing everything on that drive. Next we're going to go over to the advanced configuration. In here we're going to make sure that we have the host name set, we're going to make sure that we have SSH enabled, we're going to give our default username for SSH which I'm going to use Pi. I'm going to supply a password. We're also going to make sure that the Raspberry Pi can automatically connect to our Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to do configure LAN, I'm going to make sure my Wi-Fi network is selected here and then I'm going to supply the password. Then we're gonna make sure that we have set local settings and then we can go ahead and click save. Next, we're just gonna select right to write the operating system. Now we can pull the SD card out of the computer and pop it into our Raspberry Pi. Then we'll go ahead and power on the Raspberry Pi. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect the Antminer USB stick to the Raspberry Pi. Pretty sure this is the worst use of these technologies, but I'm doing it anyway. So now if I come over to my Wi-Fi Network's management page and go over to clients, I should be able to see all the connected devices to my Wi-Fi network. And now down here we can see that the Raspberry Pi device has successfully connected to our Wi-Fi network and we can also see the IP address by which we can connect to it. We can also connect uh, by way of the host name. So now I'm going to open up the terminal and connect to the Raspberry Pi. So first I'm going to check if I can reach the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to do ping raspberrypi.local. And we can see that we are receiving ICMP traffic, which means that my laptop is able to talk to the Raspberry Pi by way of the Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna kill that, and we're gonna go ahead and SSH into our Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna do SSH pi at raspberrypi.local. So first we need to clean up some of the RSA fingerprints that we have in place. So I'm gonna grab this directory here. I'm gonna open it using Vim and I'm just going to delete some of the old entries, save that, and I'll rerun sshpi at raspberrypi.local. We're gonna select yes to create a new fingerprint. Now we're gonna supply the password that we set up using Raspberry Pi Imager. Now we can see we are inside our Raspberry Pi, so I'm gonna to navigate to the root directory. I'm gonna list out some of the directories, and we can see we are in our Debian Linux operating system for our Raspberry Pi. So the first thing I like to do when I SSH into my Raspberry Pi is elevate myself to a super user by becoming a root user. And you do that by running sudo su dash. I know this may be triggering, but I'm doing it anyway. First, we're gonna install CG Miner. This is the Bitcoin mining software that contains all the logic, like the wrapper. So I'm gonna run apt get install CG Miner. Then we'll grab our Bitcoin wallet address from Coinbase. So first we're gonna come over to NiceHash, which is our pooling service, and we're gonna select mining, and then we're gonna go over to download miner or add ASIC. We're gonna be using ASIC, which is the USB bitmain amp miner. We're gonna come over to stratum generator, and we're gonna go ahead and select our algorithm, which is SHA-256, which is for Bitcoin, and then I'm gonna throw my password in here. Next, we're gonna supply our pool and worker details in a config file called pools. So I'm gonna do vim pools.txt, and then I'm gonna add all the pool information. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Then we'll go ahead and kick off the miner. Now I'm just gonna run CG miner, and I'm gonna to point to our config file called pool.txt. 
Okay, and we can see we're generating a healthy hash rate here. Now we can see the miner running and generating enough hash to make Snoop Dogg proud. But will it be enough to earn us any crypto? Let's find out. Okay, so now that we're back over at NiceHash, we can see we have an active rig running, which is what we do expect. And it'll start logging out metrics around our hash rate, payouts, etc. So we are now crypto mining on an incredibly small rig, basically fits in the palm of my hand. Now the thing about Bitcoin mining is it's incredibly hard to get shares submitted. So even though we're generating a few giga hash per second, for pool mining, it's not enough to allow us to submit good shares. This is why the only really valid use of this miner would be solo mining, aka lotto mining, which is an all or nothing proposition. We either hit a block and net the entire block reward, which is over $200,000, or we don't. And we can use a website called solochance.com to find our odds of hitting a block reward. Now we can go ahead and enter the hash rate that we were seeing from our ant miner. Now we can see that our chance of hitting a block each day is about one in two billion. Let's hope the crypto gods bless us.